Hey everybody, it's Jake and welcome to day 26 of learning to program in Ruby. I thought I'd share with you the stats of the show so far. It's got uh, 16,000 views, uh, 66,000 minutes, which is over a month and a half of view time. But the really cool thing that I wanted to share with you guys I thought you'd find interesting is the age range of the other viewers. So the highest age range is the 45 to 54 year olds and we so that's at 32 percent so a third a third of the viewers between the ages of 45 and 54 and still at 55 to 64 we still have it's my son he's he's whining but uh 55 to 64 year olds are at 14 percent and then the rest is is a lot less so yeah really cool uh surprising demographics for me actually um but anyways, so there you go. And thank you so much to anybody who became a producer of Wild Academy from the last uh, episode. I really appreciate it, guys. And let's get started with day 26 of learning to program in Ruby. Okay, now we're going to do a case statement, and we're going to use the when. So if you remember from a previous episode, we had an instance where it was in the case. When this is the case, we're going to do this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to prompt the user to put in some input. So we're going to write, how, how are you feeling today? Question mark. And they're going to type something in. And we're going to make that whatever they type in the feeling. Feeling is equal to gets dot chump. All right. Now let's give ourselves some space here. Come down here. Ooh. All right. And now we're going to write our case statement, and we're going to set, we're going to make it the feeling that in the case of feeling, oh, and we're going to do when it is. Make sure you do quotes because the user will be typing in um, as a string, and when happy, when happy, come down below, puts so glad to hear that. We're going to do our other when statement. When the user types in sad, come down here, puts I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. And we're going to come down below that. Let's do one more when when feeling is tired we're gonna do should have done that as tab when tired we're gonna do puts you you should take a nap And we could put a lot of wins. So when you're feeling sexy, then you could put something. When you're feeling down, you could put something. So you can just do the wins forever. And but we're just gonna end it here with an else. Um, I don't understand that feeling. So if they don't put any of our win options, this is what it'll put. I don't understand that feeling. And we're going to end it right here. All right. So go ahead and save it now. And let's bring it in. And here's the problem right up here. We didn't do our puts. So it didn't have anything to ask us. Save. OK, so it gave us everything that we'd, we'd previously had on there. But now it's asking us, how are you feeling today? And currently we only have three answers that we can put. We can either put tired, sad, or happy. So we're just gonna type in sad, hit enter, and it has returned, I'm sorry to hear that. And if we were to run it again, we could, um, how are you feeling today? We could write the other one, what was the other one? But else, tired, okay. Uh, you should take a nap. And then let's go ahead and run it one more time. And let's put something that we didn't give as an option. So we're gonna put uh, angry. 
and it'll go down to the else statement. I don't understand that feeling. So how do we make these one-liners? We're going to put a then statement. So what we're going to do is right here is when happy, we're going to bring this puts up here and we're going to write then puts. So glad to hear that. So we can do that on all of these. Instead of having two lines, um, we will bring this up here. We'll do then puts and we will do then puts so that we have it all on one line. Else puts, we can put that there and then we can save it and hit up. How are you feeling today? Let's do sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's do something else. Let's do um, not tired, tired. Let's do gloomy. Hit that. I don't understand that feeling. So by using the then, we were able to bring those up and make those one line. Now in the case, we do need to make sure to do the end because we need to end this case. All right, thanks again, guys. That's it for day 26. I will see you in 27. Good night.